Uh, our job is, uh, of course, Amanda's gotten you approved, and, and, and the, let's say it's the Scotia Bank is sending over, uh, will then send over the mortgage instructions to our office, and it's, it's our job to prepare the mortgage for you to sign and along with a whole bunch of other documents that the uh, uh, mortgage company will have you sign. Sometimes it's about that thick of mortgage documents. And I know Amanda would never send us a mortgage that came from one of those kind of mortgage companies, but sometimes they're that much paperwork, sometimes they're that much paperwork. But whatever it is, we would prepare it for you, and uh, we will have you in and you'll be signing all these documents. And then once you're finished, uh, and that, that will involve uh, sort of the next, complying with yeah, complying with the mortgage company requirements. Um, we then, uh, after you sign, send that into land titles along with the transfer of land from the seller's lawyer, and we register everything. And make sure it's registered in the right way, make sure your name's on the title in the right way, make sure your mortgage is there and the seller's is not. And then where are we? Very important, obtain the mortgage money. And uh, we go to great pains not to obtain the mortgage money early because uh, you start paying interest to the bank as soon as the mortgage money is obtained. So there's always this crazy great scramble on the morning of possessions in lawyers' offices where we've got a time so that we get the money wired into our account from Toronto Scotia Bank, whatever it is. Uh, at 9 in the morning, and uh, of course we've got your money because probably you were in to sign documents a day or two earlier, and uh, put that together, and then we rush courier it over to the seller's lawyer so that he has it at 12 noon or earlier, so that the seller's lawyer can then phone Daniel and say, <laughs> keys are releasable, <laughs> let him in. So uh, we kind of quarterback that part of it as well, okay? Um, the last part, which, you know, is always the bad part, lawyer's cost. <laughs> um, just keep going. The uh, average fee for a purchase in, in Calgary, for a purchase with the mortgage, uh, for our lawyer's fee is somewhere between $800 and $1,000. That's pretty typical for lawyers in, in Calgary. There's, you'll find the odd one that's a few bucks less and you'll find some a little more, but I'd say that would be probably the average, okay? Um, if you're phoning a lawyer for a quote, um, they may tell you that, but also you should ask about what's called disbursements, because disbursements are uh, typically 350 to $500, but they are basically is office costs or costs that the lawyer is paying elsewhere and they charge back to you. And the biggest one always is the cost to register documents at land titles. Land titles charges uh, based upon the value of your house purchase. Mm -hmm. So to register a transfer into your name for a $200,000 property versus a $500,000 property, $500,000 property costs a lot more than the land titles charge. We pay it and we charge it back to you. Same thing for a mortgage. It's based upon uh, land titles will charge to register a mortgage and we pay it and then we charge it back to you. And then GST and so forth. Uh, in the end, I think you can count on about $1,200 to $1,600 typically is going to be what your uh, legal bill will be, which will include all the land titles, costs, and courier and searches we do, and all sorts of things. Okay, I kind of went through that fairly quickly, <coughs> but uh, and I, I hope that in a way that might understood, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. My question is based on the, on the cost. Yes. Is it a flat rate or is it dependent on the color of the mortgage? The, uh, the lawyer's fees generally are flat rate okay. fees. The, uh, the land titles cost though, because they always, whatever you register at land titles, the land titles office of the provincial government charges. That goes up and down. It varies a little bit by how much you uh, the values of things are. Basically, uh, to register a transfer or register a mortgage at land titles, you start off at fifty dollars. So it's fifty dollars to register a transfer. Plus, they charge one dollar per five thousand 
of value, right? And it's basically the same with the mortgage as well. So the richer you are, the bigger the house you got, the more you pay. Which, <laughs> if you got a million dollar house, you should you should pay more than a two hundred thousand dollar. Right? Yeah. When you do the, the searches, does it is it not? Do you also search for outstanding bills on the property? Like the outstanding yeah. um, anything that yes. Good point. Anything that shows up on the title, we, we will search the title of the house that you're buying. So we're, it'll come up in the seller's name. It will show if the seller's got a mortgage, his mortgage. If there's anything else the seller's put against that title um, or caused to go onto that title, it will also show up. For example, there's something in this province called the Builder's Lien Act. So if, if you don't pay your plumber, your plumber uh, can register something on your land title to say, I haven't been paid, I owe $1,500. That will show up when you do the search. And I, as the buyer's lawyer, will be telling the seller's lawyer, in trust, that has to be removed. I don't care whether you owe the plumber $1,500 or not. It's not to become the buyer's problem, right? Mm -hmm. So we look after those sorts of things. Sometimes you'll see some, th we'll see some things on the title, but we don't know what they are. It will just it'll just say a caveat or there, there's certain things and if we don't know what they are just by looking at the description we actually go and, and get a copy from the records of land titles and we'll get the actual four or five page document to see what it is from time to time there's something some weird things will show up on the titles that are somewhat surprising and shocking sometimes usually if they're from uh, you get some weird things like from 1920 or something, you can't build a delivery stall on your property and, <laughs> and uh, things like that, uh, which we don't worry too much about unless there's a delivery stall. If there is one, well, then you've got a problem. <laughs> so, but we do check all those things, and if we don't know what it is, we find out. <laughs>